What is going on everybody? My name's Chris. Welcome to Bourbon Sane. We're back today and it is episode number four in my Bourbon Trail Distillery series. For those of you who haven't been following, I recently took a trip to Kentucky, hit a whole bunch of distilleries on the Bourbon Trail, and I figured let's put out a little video about each distillery. Today we're talking about Willet Distillery. I had probably the most incredible Willet experience you could ever have um, at the distillery. So I was lucky enough on one of our Facebook groups, there's someone who's really close with the master distiller, Drew, over at Willet, and he put out kind of a, like a raffle, if you will, or whatnot, to, to get a VIP tour of Willet Distillery. I was lucky enough to have my number called, so I was able to go on about an eight-hour Willet excursion, get to do some stuff I never, ever would have been able to do before. It was really a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Let's talk about it a little bit. So first of all, Willet Distillery is located in Bardstown, Kentucky. It is technically considered a craft distillery, but at this point they're putting out such volume, they they really should no longer be considered that. And if you've tried their product, they definitely are not craft. Um, I think they're really a staple in Kentucky in general. But located in Bardstown, they have a whole bunch of different expressions. They have their Willett Family Estate Bourbon, which is kind of the big one you hear about all the time very sought after products, difficult to find. Their family, uh, Willet Family Estate Rye, is actually, are actually the bottles I have right here. They are recently coming out with a five year on that now instead of just a four year. These are four year bottles. Um, this actually placed first in my rye, cast strength rye shootout I did a couple months ago. So a great product. Um, Willet overall is just, just a great distillery, but let's talk about the tour a little bit. Willet offers a couple different tours. Now, the VIP tour that I did really isn't offered to the public. You kind of have to know someone. I mean, this was a Saturday that Drew took the time out of his day to come in and do this tour for us. We started out with just kind of a normal tour. So he walked us around the grounds a little bit, took us to the actual distilling area. They weren't actively distilling at the time. They were on their break from distilling, but um, got to see the actual Willet pot still. That was really, really cool kind of one of those nostalgic moments that's like, wow, you know, there's the Willet pot still that you see the bottle, you know, the Willet pot still bottle. You actually get to see the pot still. It's really, it was really incredible to even just do that. Of course, we got to see the fermentation tanks, uh, kind of just the, the, the normal tour you would see at any Kentucky distillery. Well, you know, the, the kind of things they're doing at the time as far as the distilling process goes. But Willet, the grounds are so beautiful. Um, they actually just updated their whole you know, gift shop area and um, that building there. So absolutely gorgeous. The pictures of the grounds are great. After uh, we took a break in the lunch, uh, we went and had lunch at the upper room, which they're building kind of like a cocktail lounge area now upstairs. And we got to have lunch there, got to have some cocktails um, there at the, the, the new bar there. Um, what, a, what an experience. After lunch, we were able to actually walk probably four or five different rack houses, and we got to try stuff right out of the barrel. I mean, we're talking incredible, incredible whiskeys. Um, Willet has so many different experimental projects going on. I mean, as probably do several distilleries, but some of the stuff that they're working on is great. Um, messing with mash bills, messing with finishing, and to be able to try some of that stuff right out of the barrel, it was absolutely insane. Um, just, just a short list of some things we got to try right out of the barrel. We tried a, a high rye mash bill, a weeded mash bill from, uh, from Willet. All these are all, of course, barrel strength right out of the barrel. <laughs> so good. This was one of those tours you have to dump your glass. Like you cannot possibly finish every single sample they're giving you because it's just too much. You know, it's just too much. We ended the, um, the, the, the tasting, I guess, if you will, trying stuff out of the barrel with a Willet family estate. I think it was an 18 year. Honestly, it was a, an unforgettable experience, un, unforgettable whiskey too. Um, that's something you dream about as a, a bourbon enthusiast, as a whiskey enthusiast, getting to experience something like that, a tour like that, getting to try bourbons um, and whiskeys like that. So incredible experience, something I'll never forget. And man, I hope I get to do it again down the road because because I would love to. So as far as the tours that are offered to the public at Willet Distillery, they have a production and distilling tour. That's $22 and lasts just over an hour. At the end of that, you do get a tasting as well. Um, I'm not sure how many samples you get to taste at the distillery. Since I did a different tour, I, I'm not sure what that, what that is. 
Um, but $22, it's over an hour, and um, we passed a couple tour groups that were doing it, so they get to see the actual distilling process. They talk about kind of the basic things you do on the bourbon, you know, uh, making bourbon. So kind of the distilling side, the aging side, fermenting side, all that stuff. The other experience they offered is called Season to Perfection. Now this is an $18 experience and pretty much what it is is a sensory and tasting experience. So they walk you through the, you know, the sensory side of things and then you get to taste some samples as well. $18. I would imagine you're getting a couple samples here if it's going to be that price. Um, that's about a 30 minute experience as well. So a couple options if you go to Willet. If you know somebody who's close with the distiller, ask for that VIP tour because man, that is something that's great. A lot of people wonder about the gift shop at Willet and whether they have limited bottles, Willet Family Estate Rye, the bourbons in there. Recently, Willet announced that they're no longer putting their rare bottles, the Willet Family Estate bottles at least, in the gift shop. Now, this is coming from Drew himself. He said it just got to be too much. I mean, they were getting literally like a thousand calls a day uh, asking if they're going to have Willet Family Estate bourbon in today, tomorrow, any time in the week. And it's too much. You can't run a business that way. So they're no longer selling any of the Willett family estate, at least, out of the gift shop. They do still have the rye. So the four-year and probably the new five-year that's going to be coming out very soon. That is in the gift shop, as well as their normal expressions, things like the Johnny Drum, Pot Still Bourbon, you know, Noah's Mill, Rowan's Creek, that kind of stuff. That you can get. But as far as Willett family estate bourbon goes, they're only distributing it now. So distributing it to, you know, local areas, of course, and then wherever they normally will distribute. So... No need to stand in line at Willet any longer. People used to line up for hours and hours to try to get their hands on a good bottle. No need to try to do that. Maybe make your way over to Heaven Hill instead and see if you can get anything out of their gift shop. What an awesome experience at Willet. Something I absolutely loved. I'd go back there all the time, even if I didn't have this specific VIP tour. It's just an awesome place. Beautiful grounds. Great people. Drew was incredible. Most down-to-earth guy I've ever met. Um, just anything you wanted to do, the tour was completely at our discretion. He's like, hey, wherever you want to go, whatever you want to try, just let us know or let me know. We'll take you there. It was just awesome. Um, at the end of the tour, when things were wrapping up, I was able to get a bottle of the Willet for your rye and I was able to have Drew sign it. And also his father was there, even Cool Savine. And I got to have him sign it too. So two master distillers for Willet um, through the generations. I mean, this is a bottle I will cherish forever. <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever open it now that at least I have a backup. Incredible experience. If you can go to Willett Distillery, definitely do it. Um, Heaven Hill and Willett are literally about a mile and a half apart, and they are two distilleries that I would definitely venture to if you can. Beautiful grounds, wonderful people, experience you won't forget. Thank you all so much for watching this review today. If you like these types of videos, please do hit that like button and that subscribe button. Let me know if you've ever been to Willett Distillery. If you haven't, let me know what is your favorite Willett expression. A lot of wilted expressions out there. I have a lot of them, as you can see behind me here. If I had to go, if I had to say one myself, it's probably going to be the Willet Four Year, honestly. The Four Year Rye is a great whiskey. Um, well, I should. I don't have a bottle of the Willet Family Estate, but the stuff we tried out of the barrel, you can't beat that. I appreciate y'all hanging out today. Stay insane, everyone.